What's up guys, we were at Barber recently testing our oil cooler before and after. What you'll see is the top video is going to be without the oil cooler and the bottom video is going to be with the oil cooler. We have done an outlap before both of these runs just to make sure the tire pressures were right and everything was dialed in to make a good run at it. You can see here that without the oil cooler we're already at 244 degrees. With the oil cooler we're at 226, nice and cool, heading to turn five. Find ourselves in a little bit of traffic here. Heading to the museum turn, we're already at 252 degrees without the oil cooler, 230 with the oil cooler. A um, Little bit of traffic ahead here, we'll make quick work of them. What you're gonna find is that the temperature is just gonna steadily keep rising. All right, passing this car here, man, we're at 255 on the without the oil cooler. I'm starting to get a little nervous. I don't like 260 degree oil temps and, and that looks like that's where we're heading. As you can see, with the actual oil cooler, we're just trucking along at 232 degrees, really hammering it out. We're a little bit further ahead in the bottom video, but that's just because of traffic. You can see here we're at 259. I'm bailing out. I, I, I'm not comfortable with those temperatures. I want to get this thing cooled off. I just, you know, with the cooler, we're still making laps. We're at 230 degrees. So that kind of shows you how efficient the Chase Bay's oil cooler is.